establishing or giving um, a good footing to, to something like and a wonderful initiative like the School of Digital Arts has got to be a good thing, really. But I'm not a future storyteller because that's what the School of Digital Arts is about, is about creating the, the space where future storytellers can begin to find their footing. I was, I was not very inspired by the idea of me lecturing people about the future of storytelling. So I thought, oh, well, it might be more interesting to do something about where we are now, really, given that it's a, the platform in which, from which, our future storytellers are going to get their footing. I think the thing that the industry is poised, waiting to see what happens with these future storytellers is obviously VR is a kind of the use of augmented reality or virtual reality or immersive experiences you can see in theatre and they're beginning to kind of create immersive experiences for people. They're becoming a bit more common, a bit more mainstream. But how will they be used in storytelling, um, in original storytelling? And, and I have no idea. And this is what I mean about not being a future storyteller. I went to a, a thing um, at the Saatchi Gallery called We Live in an Ocean of Air. And it was the most extraordinary 20 minutes of immersive experience with the glasses on and everything. I couldn't work out how to make that into a story, how to use that as a story. I know with the other, with the regular cameras, I know how to do that. I know, you, you know, I know the path between a story and how to get it there and what to use to get it there and stuff like that. But I had no idea how you would use this, this wrapping of people inside the medium and be able to tell the story as well. And that's one of the answers that will come. The film as a single experience is hanging on a bit really at the moment and only through, and, and only managing to hang on through big event movies at the moment. The power brokers are no longer just the studios really, that the platforms are changing. So you can make films very, very cheaply or very, very expensively. And there's nothing really in between because all the in-between ground has moved onto the streaming services. I think it has changed the nature of storytelling. Um, I think storytelling is endless now and is encouraged by the platform to be endless, ideally, that it would be a series of... And each series would be 10 episodes of an hour. <laughs> it's like, that's a lot of time, man. And so people have a different relationship with it. It's a much more... It's an obsessive relationship, but in, also in a curious way, it's kind of casual and less caring than the effort you make to go to the cinema to watch a single piece of work which I would, that's what I meant about uh, that's my kind of storytelling, that's the past really probably, so I would prefer that really so